Thanks, guys. We're back here. And, Brian, what do you think the key was to Friday night's loss? I think when you look at this game, it all came down to the first half. The Hoosiers were unable to really gain a lot of offensive pressure. And in the first period, the defense wasn't great. They gave up an early goal to the UAB Blazers. And it wasn't until the second half that the Hoosiers really came out of the locker room and started to take control offensively. They outshot UAB in the second half 13-4. to So they really came out. They put on the pressure, but they were only able to find the back of the net one time. You talk about the second half. They had a penalty kick they missed there. Seemed like a big missed opportunity for the Hoosiers. Yeah, and that seemed to be a theme of the night. They had a great opportunity at a penalty kick with about seven minutes to go in the game, but uh, you got to credit the UAB goalkeeper. He made a great save on the penalty kick to keep the score tied at one, and then down the stretch, the final minute, that UAB was able to get a great shot past Che Kane with one minute to go and seal the victory for UAB and send the Hoosiers to their third consecutive defeat. Yeah, third consecutive loss. Now, what do you think this team needs to do to get back on the winning track? I think they just have to keep their focus and composure. They have guys that know how to win. This is a very proud IU soccer franchise. The, they have all the national titles, the experience. Coach Freitag will do a great job going out on Monday, getting this team ready. They have a game coming up Wednesday against the Butler Bulldogs. That's a great chance for the Hoosiers to rebound. They've had some tough losses, but this team's resilient. They know how to respond, and they'll play well going down the stretch the rest of the way, getting ready for the Big Ten. All right, that's it from here. Back to you guys.